Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. I'm here today to give you a little bit of a jet bike demonstration. So what we have here is a unit of jet bikes. There are seven models here. I haven't done up my Warlock conversion yet, so we're just going to pretend that one of these guys is the Warlock. And then there are six jet bikes. So for every three jet bikes, for 10 points, you can upgrade one to have a uh, Shuriken Cannon. And these I pull from the Vehicle Upgrade Kit. On the Games Workshop site, you can purchase a, uh, a jet bike with this upgrade, but I wouldn't do it uh, because uh, there's, there's really no need for it. You can just get them as uh, bits from the vehicles. And uh, they actually do look a little bit cooler. The part that GW puts out is either a metal or a fine cast bit. Uh, also note on Eldar jet bikes, it's best always to, uh, when you're setting up your project with us, because uh, I assume everybody's going to have their Eldar professionally painted by Blue Table Painting. Check the liner notes for contact information. Uh, get the, the longest route to saying something. Um, get the uh, regular jet, uh, Guardian torsos, uh, because the torso that comes with the jet bike kit isn't that awesome. Uh, costs a little extra, but it's totally worth it. So these dice that you see here, this is the firepower that is put out by this unit and uh, you basically you have five twin linked shuriken, cat, shuriken catapults with 12 inch range just like that and uh, two shuriken cannons with three at, uh, dice each at 24 inch range and those all have the blade storm special rule which is effectively rending and uh, that uh, rending except it doesn't do things against vehicles so uh, let me just show you how jet bikes move. Let's go ahead and pan back a little bit. In fact, we're going to back up just a tad here. All right, on uh, page 45 of the rule book, you find rules for bikes and jet bikes. Uh, the first off is they move 12 inches in their movement phase. They count difficult terrain as dangerous terrain. That's take a wound on a one. And uh, jet, bikes, jet bikes can move over, uh, over terrain. So I won't go too back to uh, go into that too much. Uh, they do have the Hammer of Wrath, Jink, and Relentless special rules. Now that doesn't apply to the Eldar. Be, or excuse me, Relentless doesn't help an Eldar jet bike necessarily because their weapons are already assault weapons. However, uh, let's take a look at Jink because it's poor, important to understand this special rule because it's going to come up in uh, in other areas. So. Um, a model with this special rule that has moved in its movement phase gains a five up cover save until the end of its next movement phase. That's pretty awesome. And if it, a model with this rule moves flat out or turbo boosts, it instead gains a four plus cover save until the start of its next movement phase. So let's take a look at what Eldar jet bikes say. It says um, when an Eldar jet bike, uh, hold on they can turbo boost they can move up to 36 inches so i just want you to appreciate how far that is you're looking at about well in fact let's just move back so you can kind of see this whole table here so basically and you may notice i have some space marines hiding out here it's because i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot at them and see what it looks like so uh basically these guys can redeploy a huge amount i mean pretty much you know a good halfway across the board and so it's, um, it's, it's pretty awesome. In fact, let's, let's just be bold and uh, let's stay out of, this is where the space marines are, let's stay out of charge range, which would be about 14 inches. Uh, but, uh, you know, they could retreat. So a really good place to go here would probably be right about yay. So I'll go ahead and turbo boost. And, uh, you know, let's, let's just say you know what, go ahead and shoot at us. So I move my guys up. I keep the uh, shriekers, so you can't really see what I'm doing here. Okay, here we go. So I, take the, I put the shriekers in the back because I want them to, um, I want them to not be the first casualties taken off. And plus they have, they have a longer range as well. So turbo boost means no shooting this turn. Uh, but let's say the Space Marines shoot at them. Two, four, six, seven. Made a little mistake here. The, uh, the Warlocks 
um, conceal power, which can also be used to take off uh, shrouded and stealth off of another unit. Uh, has to be done at the beginning of the movement phase. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. His leadership is eight, so I rolled an 11, so he doesn't get it. Um, and uh, Shrouded adds two to their cover save. So let's just take a look at Shrouded and make sure I'm doing it right. And they get a cover save even if they're out in the open because of it. So a, a model that turbo boosts gets a four up jink save. So Shrouded would make it a two up. So uh, that is just plain awesome. But it didn't happen. So, and it's a good thing that happens at the beginning of the movement phase because you know how bold to be. So in this case, quite frankly, I don't want to move ahead with, uh, with that. So I am just going to play it a little bit safer and move to a place where the Space Marines can't possibly shoot at me. So again, 36 inches is plenty to get wherever you need. So let's say uh, on the next phase, uh, the Space Marine player wants to be uh, a little more, well, he won't, be, he won't be able to shoot at them no matter what. So uh, let's say he just, um, well, if he runs into the building, then I can just jump over that. Can you see this? Yeah. So uh, if, if he runs into the building, then I can just jump over. You know what? Let's just turn this into a shooting match and see what it looks like. So with Jink, you get the cover save of five up uh, even if you just move. So that's the beauty of it, is you don't have to move flat out and give up your shooting. So, um, all right, shooting match. So the jet bikes can move up to 12 inches. So I'll just, you know what, I'll just go right up top like this. See how wonderful that is? All within plenty of movement. And remember, I can bunch my guys up as much as I want, if for some reason that's advantageous. Because in the assault phase, I can move 2d6 inches. Let's go ahead and roll the dice. So, um, the shuriken cannons. Let's go ahead and uh, get it to where you can see it. And let's see, uh, let's, let's see what happens with this. Shuriken cannons, they are strength six by... So, uh, uh, guardians now have three up. So, there's um, five hits from the uh, shriekers. And then two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, from the rest of the jet bikes. Warlock has a weapon skill, uh, excuse me, ballista skill four. So looking for threes. And these are twin linked shuriken catapults. So uh, that is going to be a lot of hits. Yep, that ends up being uh, only three misses out of that whole lot. Uh, six, 16 shots. So awesome for me. So two ups to wound on these. And remember, sixes are um, blade storm or effectively rending. So no rins there, but I do get three wounding hits. Now let's go ahead and do the, um, the shuriken catapults. So there you go. So there's a rend and uh, four. There you go. So six, six wounds and a rend. And there's your um, armor saves. So two guys, two guys are toast. That's not awesome, but it's not bad either. So uh, now the jet bikes can jump out of the way. And they move 2d6 inches in the assault phase. So this is the old Eldar. That's terrible, that's only three inches. Okay, well, you know what, let's, let's roll with that. Let's just say a couple of them make it, the rest of them just move back like that. So the Space Marine player goes, aha. All right, we'll have to go back in time and see if conceal happens. Oh, an 11. All right, this is not the best demo. But, you know, let's, let's play it through. Two, four, six, seven. Seven Space Marines, 14 shots. And, um, I, of course, their armor saves three up, so the cover save really wouldn't, wouldn't help them in this case. Uh, but there is a, there is a melt -a gun in here somewhere. Nope, I didn't give them a melt -a gun. Let's pretend they do have one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. And then the melt -a. So, melt -a. Misses. Fair enough. There we go. And uh, now the bolters. So, uh, wow, that was not such great luck on the part of the Space Marines either. So, Strength 4, Toughness 4. So, just note that an Eldar jet bike 
has basically the same stat line as a Space Marine. I mean, their toughness four, three up armor save, awesome. Their strength is only three, but that doesn't matter so much. They are primarily a shooting and maneuvering unit. And um, four, yep, and then they have five initiatives. So those are the differences. Okay, to wound, looking for fours. So uh, that looks like um, that looks like four wounding hits. So I'll roll my three up armor saves and make them all. Okay, that is that is fantastic. Guy, okay, no complaints there. All right, uh, let's continue the firefight. Why not? And uh, just do the same thing. The Eldar jet bikes move up. And oh, hello, ha, <laughs> guy. This is. This is not awesome. There would have been two casualties from last time. So I wouldn't have actually even had as many shots at me. So the Space Marines are down in number. There's your casualties right there. Keeping this Typhoon off, I don't know if I'm gonna use them in this little demo. And uh, so let's do the jet bikes again. And uh, so let's do, uh, I should have done the Warlock power beforehand. So that affects so they have, con they have Conceal, which is Shrouded, plus two to cover saves. So let's do my Shuriken Cannons. Um, that is uh, four hits. And then two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten shots from the other guys. Twin Link Shuriken Catapults, looking for threes. Reroll because of Twin Link. And uh, that is only uh, three misses out of that entire volley, so awesome for me. And uh, now let's roll to wound. So here's the shuriken cannons. Those have strength six, so looking for twos. So there's a rend and, and three wounds. Okay, and then now let's try the um, shuriken catapults. And there's another rend. And uh, wow, looks like quite a bit of wounds, uh, six wounds. So uh, two guys just die because of rending. Isn't that lovely? And then these are armor saves that need to happen. So looking for threes. And uh, so that would be one, two, three guys, four, five guys dead. So that would just, that would just wipe those guys out. So anyway, uh, in spite of my numerous uh, errors and oddball um, uh, timing there, uh, I, I hope you get an idea of what Eldar jet bikes can do and uh, how it is that they, they maneuver around and how they pwn space marines like. like to, uh, here comes Thomas, he's coming by. He's like, um, you know what? How many points of model are those? 17 that's, now? Uh, 17, yeah. Versus the 16 for a space marine? Yep, that's they right. Definitely, I mean, the stab boost definitely made, I mean, Basically, they're the same as a Space Marine uh -huh. for one more point, and what do they get for that? They've got an Eldar Blades, jet bike. They got Blade Storm, and yep. they got an Eldar jet bike. Yep. And Twin Linked. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's pretty fantastic. Yep. Uh, they die just as easily as Space Marines do, though. So yep. that's one thing to think about. You got to make sure that you uh, take that in mind if you're going to play an Eldar jet bike army. Be aware right. of. Uh, it's the takes away cover saves. Yeah, yeah. The, anything that takes away cover saves. But, I mean, really what it is, it's the same way you kill a Space Marine. You don't try and take away a cover save from a Space Marine. You just, if, even if they even have it, you just throw lots of wounds at them. Right. They're only toughness four, so anything that can throw a lot of wounds at them will be their downfall. Yeah, you, get, you gotta look at the bigger picture. But, anyhow, they're well worth it. They're yep. amazing. Yep, thanks, Thomas.